In October 2023, Rakuten Group welcomed 25 new graduates from around the world as recruits to its globally diverse tech community. This is the first group of tech new grads in Rakuten Group to go through an onboarding process completely separate from business new grads. We caught up with some of these new Rakutenians to quiz them on their tech background and skills. My name is Kazuya Watarai and I'm from Osaka, Japan. And I will join the uh, bicycle racing product management team from November. I had participated in the robotics contest for rescue. And I discussed the member to, about the strategy to improve and led the team to victory. And I also used the code using the Arduino language, which is based on the C and C++ to operate the working model robot. And this experience so, uh, led me to pursue in my career in the technical field. I'm Suhan, I come from China. I will work at the Lactan Payment System Division Group. Before I joined Lactan, I had an internship at another company. The project was about both front-end and back-end. I used the TypeScript at that time. In front-end, I created a page with TypeScript. And in back-end, I developed APIs and how to read and write data. My name is Rifki. I'm from Indonesia. And I'll be working in the machine learning and deep learning uh, engineering department of the technology services division of Rakuten Group. In university, my research was on programming languages and software development environments. So it's got very little to do with my data engineering role that I have right now. But I kind of feel like I want to step away from the more academic and more strict area of research, especially in that area, and more towards the more real world applications like data engineering and Hi, my name is Mari and I'm from Japan. I graduated from university in Taiwan this June and I'll be joining TDD as associate product manager. So though my background is in international relations, uh, I gained my inspiration in tech during my internship in Taiwanese social media company. And I was doing the marketing, so I was basically working for finding what the customers want, but while also working with their uh, tech members, uh, I gained inspiration for the engineering and bringing the good um, products to the customers. And that brought me to where I am right now. Over their first month, the techie new recruits went through an intensive and wide-ranging training program, covering tech-specific topics as well as aspects of Rakuten culture and work style. Towards the end of the period, they also attended some in-person sessions, including a creativity workshop where participants came up with ideas to improve the online experience of over 65s and practiced storytelling skills to present their ideas in groups. And in a special session, they got to meet two prominent leaders from the technology divisions, Akihito Kurozumi and Eva Sivanska, including a Q&A section where they could ask their own questions. I wanted to ask that from a technological point of view, Currently at Rakuten, what do you feel are the areas where we lack and we would want to establish in 2023 and 2024? Yeah, so definitely, so what we have to consider to enhance or develop is AI, right? We already can implement uh, like the developer, like machine learning, deep learning technology together with the TSD team, but still, this is not enough. AI is how can I say, rising like an area. To develop. That's the mostly we have to focus on. Eva, so do you have any uh, comment for that? Yeah, no, I would say that, that AI uh, uh, has been used at, at Rakuten widely, but what is happening, our Korozumi san is, is also referring to, is the next generation AI. The technology is uh, progressing, changing, transforming so fast. Uh, we really need to. Uh, be on top of the game. We wish a bright and innovative future to this latest generation of tech new grads in Rakuten. 